I'm going to try something. How many of you out there are consumers? Can you just, uh, you know, down below there's uh, a reactions button. Just give me a thumbs up if you consider yourselves consumers. Okay. I think, I think maybe we're not all being totally honest. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me ask you another question. How many of you are employees? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, good. Lots of thumbs up. Um, sorry, I missed, I missed, sorry, I missed that question. Sorry. How many of you are employees? I'm sorry, I haven't got, I can't get the screen with the sound. That's on okay. It. That's okay. This is mostly rhetorical, but it, it's fun, especially if you're in a big room. I'm trying to imagine we're all together in a big room. Now, how many of you are producers? Raise your hand, please, or give me a thumbs up. Okay, fewer number. Some of you are, are uh, giving yourselves a thumbs up for producing. So conceivably, that means that you're producing some value on your own in some way. Maybe you're a gardener. Maybe you have your own business. How many of you are entrepreneurs? Okay, I see fewer, fewer thumbs up. All right, how many of you are citizens? And I mean citizen in the broadest sense. Doesn't matter what passport you carry. I should, everybody should have their thumbs up on this one. Although it has been pointed out to me um, that in Britain, we're all subjects. <laughs> anyway, thanks for playing along. But um, this does relate to this whole question of, of producing local value. We have been talking about um, change and how do we produce change? Where does the agency lie for producing change? With the entrepreneur, with the citizen, with the consumer? Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about how to, how to introduce change into big organizations. Do you stop being a citizen when you, be, when you sit behind your desk at the council or the bank or the university? Are you still a citizen then? Or, or has your role shifted such that your agency also has, has shifted. Is that the kind of thing that leads people to leave their organization, to start something on their own, to be their own boss? Where do entrepreneurs come from? Are they born? Um, these, I think, are all interesting questions uh, that can help us um, uh, conceive and, and design new sorts of uh, projects especially around cultural change, social change, economic change. Where does value get produced anyway? I mean, the first human being, Homo habilis, uh, our, our distant relatives, was a tool maker. So that first kind of shaping of a stone into a tool is producing value. And that's the kind of thing that we're talking about is doing stuff that's useful. And <clears throat> I would submit the kind of value <clears throat> that we need to produce now has, uh, has a different context. Um, the challenge before us, I would submit, is, is radical transformation. The IPCC report that came out a couple of years ago said that we had to uh, reduce our impacts by something like 80% over the next decade. Mm -hmm. um, so that gives us the imperative to change. And this economic crisis, I think, gives us the opportunity for change. So, um, uh, I would also uh, argue that the way to, to accomplish this change is through more local ownership, more local production, more local accountability, aimed at creating a new kind of value that benefits the community, that meets fundamental human needs inside the market and outside the market. And so this is kind of the starting point for the projects that we pursued in, in Totnes and, and kind of the starting point really for, for Local Spark and many other um, uh, similar projects. So the question then is, how can we create the conditions for that kind of change? So we can try to centrally plan it. We can produce this kind of uh, new enterprise, that kind of new enterprise. What we've tried to do in, in Totnes through our project is create the conditions for uh, the emergence of 
this kind of change. So create the conditions for the emergence of new economic actors of all kinds, new economic relationships and new economic models. And so what have we been doing? Well, we've been, we've been trying to answer that question by trying to understand, well, where's the agency? Who creates the value? And so um, part of what we've been trying to do is, is shift entrepreneurial culture. So where do entrepreneurs come from? Well, entrepreneurship is a cultural construct. Um, we don't need more David, uh, or what's his name, Mark Zuckerberg. Um, but we need more people like Myrtle Cooper. Myrtle Cooper is, uh, is a young woman at Taunas who started up a, a little foraging business, a wild food business. Um, what does it mean to, be, uh, to have an entrepreneurial culture? It's not only about the entrepreneur. There are many roles that can be played, um, investors and supporters of all kinds. And, and that the cultural context is around the storytelling and the values. So what kinds of entrepreneurs do we need? Well, we need ones that are fit for the challenge of these times, ones that will create community benefit and, and value toward that, that dramatic transformation that we need to make. Another thing that we've tried to do is create uh, opportunities for people in the community to mobilize uh, their own social capital, their know-how, also their financial capital. Um, thirdly, and this is maybe one of the most important is, is we've tried to uh, build out the ecosystem to support these new actors, relationships and models. So we do something every year called the Local Entrepreneur Forum, which provides a platform for people to connect and new relationships to form, um, for people who have entrepreneurial ideas to pitch for investment and for people to play that role of investor. Um, we also have started up the Reconomy Center, a co-working and incubation space. So these are two elements of the local ecosystem. Uh, the council is part of that ecosystem, the School for Social Entrepreneurs, Darnington, et cetera. And the fourth thing is to catalyze and, and participate in, in what I like to call convergence networks. So like this event uh, where a diversity of actors and, and folks of all kinds are able to come together cross-pollinate uh, cross their, uh, their ideas and things that they're doing, um, find new opportunities to collaborate. This is, this is how we create the conditions for innovation and for innovations to spread. So a really important uh, component. So um, I think my time's up, but uh, that I think gives you a flavor of how we've approached the projects that we've done in Totnes and uh, are beginning to do now in Local Spark uh, over the past year. Uh, I'll put a couple of links in the chat and then we can talk more later. Thanks.